it was a weird week. And I knew it was going to be a weird week because it started off weird. I was going to go to Vegas a day early to uh, do some media, and I wanted to see the show called Love. It's also at the Mirage, Beatles, Cirque du Soleil show. Fantastic fucking show. And uh, so I, I was talking to my, my wife and I live in Atlanta and Hollywood, and, and uh, we were out in California. And I said, I'm leaving today at 3.30 to go to Las Vegas. And I have an airplane that you guys bought me. <laughs> I like it a lot. <laughs> Half the Fortune 500 companies in America have let go of their private jets. Not Ron White, Inc. I'm flying that son of a bitch straight into bankruptcy. <laughs> I guarantee you one day I'll be living in a double wide trailer with shag carpet and I'll have a jet with weeds growing through it. I'll be in the front seat going, push me around some. <laughs> and I don't come from money. I come from the opposite of money. I come from no money. <laughs> 10 years ago, I lived in a camper in my friend's backyard. He didn't even know I was there. <laughs> it wasn't even a nice camper. It was like a homemade pop-up camper. It looked like somebody had duct taped a tent to a golf cart. <laughs> I had a 20-inch Coleman television. <laughs> I had to pump it up during commercials. <laughs> you couldn't watch porn on it because nobody's that coordinated. <laughs> I was broke. I owe the IRS a bunch of money because I don't understand how that works. <laughs> it's confusing. When I started doing stand-up, they said that made me an independent contractor and they said I needed to start filing my taxes quarterly, which I thought meant every 25 years. <laughs> my brain won't wrap itself around shit that complicated, man. My brain does this, that's it, that's all it does. I have attention deficit disorder, I have learning disabilities. I don't have a high school diploma. I'm smart, but you can't prove it on paper. <laughs> I do have a GED, and if you don't know what GED stands for, you probably got one too. Anyway, I told my wife, I said, I'm leaving today at 3.30 to go to Vegas. My wife's singer, songwriter, composer, Margot Ray is her name, and uh, a brilliantly talented woman. And, and uh, she says, well, I'm working with a guitar player in the studio till 5 o'clock. You can't wait till 5.30 so I can fly with you. And I said, can you be there at 5.30? And she said, yes, which I knew was a lie because she's the biggest liar I've met in my life. <laughs> When it comes to how long it's going to take her to get somewhere, I hear her on the phone all the time just lying through her teeth. It's, we're two exits away. Traffic's really heavy. We should be there in 15 minutes. I'm like, you're in the fucking bathtub. <laughs> we wouldn't be there in 15 minutes if we were where you said we were. But I told her, I said, you get there at 5.30, you can fly with me, but let me tell you something, sugar tits, at 5.31, I am wheels up and I am fucking gone. <laughs> I said that. <laughs> Not very loud. <laughs> but I said it. <laughs> 5.31 gets there. Is she there? No. Do I leave? No. <laughs> 601 gets there. Is she there? No. Do I leave? No. Why? Because this dick won't suck itself. That's why. <laughs> it won't. I've asked it to many, many times. In fact, the other day, I sat my dick down. I looked him straight in the eye. And I, I said, listen. I know I've drug you into some pretty muddy shit in the last 35 years. I need you to get past that, learn how to suck yourself so I can grow a spine and get on with my goddamn life. It went in one ear and out the other. 
My dick has ears. It has an eye, and it has two ears, and a double chin. Mr. Potato Dick. The cutest thing you ever saw. I got little outfits to put on them. One of them's a raincoat. Not a condom, a raincoat. A little yellow slicker with that hat. Looks like that fish and chips dude. It's the exact same size as the one on the box. That's just an interesting fact. What is it, Ron? <laughs> An interesting fact. <laughs> anyway, so we go see Love and uh, Beatles Cirque du Soleil show. I'm a huge fan of the Beatles, and I just love their music, always have. And Cirque's always fun, and uh, their art shows are at the same time, so I'd, I'd never been able to see it. And I got eight people from my camp. My wife's sitting next to me. We have great seats because I work for the Mirage, and everything's perfect except Right behind me, these two chicks are just jabbering. Not about the show, just jabbering. Just jabber, jabber, can't shut up. Jabber, jabber, won't shut up. Jabber, fucking jabber, fucking jabber, jabber. The kind of chicks that can talk around a blowjob. You know what I'm saying? Well, I told them all day, if you don't fix that goddamn screen door, I'm gonna come out and say, I'm gonna hurt some fucking people. If I come on one more time, that baby got a shitty diaper wrapped around his ass. I'm on goddamn. I'm gonna go to the swap meet and get a dress to wear to Arby's on Sunday. And I turned around and looked. I noticed her husband weren't with him. I figured they're at a gun show trying to find a way out of this fucking thing. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's way better. I hear the guy sitting next to him go, hey, could you hold it down? My family's trying to watch the show. And she goes, fuck you, we paid our money, whatever the hell we want. And I'm just steaming fucking pissed. They're ruining my goddamn night. I can't hear anything but that. I've been waiting for a year to fucking see this show. And I turned around and very politely. <laughs> Don't start with me. Very politely, I said, lady talking to her in live theater, as far as social skills goes, is like shitting in the street. She goes, you better mind your own business. I said, you better quit shitting in the street. She goes, I'll have you thrown out of here. I said, if you don't quit flapping your fucking cock holster. Everybody heard that. Before, it was a little disturbance right behind me. Very few people privy to that one. Then 1,700 people hear me go, if you don't quit flapping your fucking cock all time. <laughs> this is all at a show called Love, by the way. <laughs> I had her murdered and buried in the desert. It's Vegas, baby. Careful who you fuck with. <laughs> and legend has it, if you go out into the desert and the moon is full and the wind dies down, you can still hear her jabbering. <laughs> I'm a street shitter, I'm shitting in the street. Did you, what the fuck was that? That's that chick Ron killed. <laughs> they call this Jabber Gulch. <laughs> 